Hey guys, I'm Brian, and today I'm going to be taking some students up and teaching them some things. And by students, I mean YouTubers Martin Polly, Carl Hancock, and Brian Keith from Wolfie Corn, Martin Polly, and Fly With The Guys. And uh, I'm not sure that we're going to be able to get this plane off the ground today. Because of all the GoPros. No, because of all the egos. That's why I think we're not going to be able to get off the ground, but let's give it a shot. All right, so we're gonna hop in the plane with three other pilots who happen to be YouTubers as well, and we're gonna fly to breakfast. The first guy on this flight is a guy named Brian Keith. His YouTube channel is called Wolfie Corn, and you should check it out. Landing and departing, runway one, two. Hazardous one advisory is on high wilds. Flight service frequencies. Permit to your set of effect bound train operation and other conditions. Tango turbulence. Bowser is coming down. Have information. Kilo! All right, so that must be the uh, happiest uh Aidest recording I've ever heard. The next guy is Carl Hancock. He's got a YouTube channel called Fly With The Guys. Carl has an amazing ability to simplify things and make complicated things seem pretty easy to understand. His channel helps answer a lot of questions that new pilots might have or students might have that want to learn to fly. You should check it out. How much longer do we have? I mean, it's not much longer. I thought you said this is a short flight. It is a short flight. I feel like we're going really slow. Are you sure this is going to be a short flight? Yeah, we're like flying over 100 miles an hour, and yes, it's a short flight. It's only like 45 minutes. Yeah, you know, the last plane I flew in was quite a bit faster. Yeah? Yeah, That's it was cool. a little nicer, too. Last but not least is this guy, Martin Pauly. He's got a YouTube channel, but I couldn't understand a damn thing he said because he only speaks German. It was starting to annoy me. I'm pretty sure at this point he actually got his thumb stuck to his gas cap as well. At any rate, Martin Polly also has a YouTube channel that you can check out. His YouTube channel is called Martin Polly. It's very creative. He does a fantastic video on Richard Peak versus Lena Peak and so many other great videos. Go check out his channel as well. This Bonanza is Zio Tango Bravo. I've been holding IFR for an hour or two uh, to get in. I have the power plant a minute ahead of me. Uh, I also was uh, following the note that it was closing at 2, not at 1.30. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about that. They just told us it closed, it, uh, they closed up. So we were at Denton Enterprise Airport in Denton, Texas. We hopped into the airplane and did what any good pilot does. We all started counting the GoPros to make sure we were going to have enough cameras to get all the shots that we needed to get. Has anyone done an official count of how many... I know that guy. Official count of how many GoPros are on this plane right now? Oh, there's probably more GoPros in this plane, like, value-wise, than this airplane's worth. That's true. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we've got eight GoPros. Is that enough? <laughs> All right, into the wind for the run-up. Oh, you, you guys do run-ups? What's that? Ask the Fisto about it when you're there. Yeah, Next time you're there. Yeah, this thing doesn't have a parachute. That's why he's doing a run-up. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow Martin figures out how to tune into a German ATIS. I couldn't understand what it was saying, but I assume it was said it was fine to go. How's it feel to be flying facing that way? Oh, so looking was, at me. I was telling him, well, looking at you is very nice. <laughs> I had a friend who used to work for a company called Zodiac, and he. Uh, built, designed, and tested airplane seats. So they, he would design a seat, and then they would put dummies in it and slam it against the wall, and he said the safest way to sit on an aircraft is actually facing backwards. You'll fall back that way. You'll crush Carl against the console. Oh, no, these guys are gone. But me, I got, like, this full support. <laughs> they were going to merge into one human. Any engine anomaly with runway ahead, I will pull the power back. Any engine anomaly before the altimeter is above 2,000, we'll look for a place ahead of the wings into the wind and set it down, no question, no discussion, straight ahead, above 2,000, we'll uh, take a moment to look around and see what our options are. Okay, it looks clear on approach. Mr. Yano, we're on a reserve, we're going to start. Oh, 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 we're We'll make a right turn to avoid alliance. Turning. 
turning erect. What was that last thing you said? I figured that might get a comment from you. Oh, dude, this thing's got some power. Yes, be alive. Positive rate, gear up. Hey, what kind of plane was Buddy Holly in when they died? Uh, kind of like this. Was it? Okay. Yeah, it was a bonanza. Oh, those are great. So, Carl, how's the horizon look to you? I don't know what to pitch for visually. Do you want to fly it? Sure. Go your plane. My plane. Take us. Uh, oh, that, was, that wasn't part of the agreement. Okay. And uh, just this heading. So we want to go kind of in a in a semi circle, in, in a circle around Alliance and around uh, the class Bravo. <laughs> Brian, it looks the same in every direction. I know, right? <laughs> I did that for you. I always joke that the most uh, outstanding geographical feature in Texas is the horizon. Now this is beautiful. I don't get clouds like this where you're just able to kind of fly through them. I think that's the one downside to Arizona is that you don't have weather. And when there is weather, yeah, you don't, don't go it. flying. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> Yeah, you guys gotta get those uh, boobs. Don't want to fly in one of those. What was that last thing you said? Boobs. 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 Yeah, me, me. I just want to say that again. Boobs. So we were departing Delta Tango Oscar, Denton Enterprise Airport in North Dallas. Our destination was Tango 67, which is Hicks Airport, southwest of Alliance's Class D. We took off, flew south, headed out west around Alliance's Delta Airport, and into runway 14 at Hicks. Tape over the camera for Oh, just to uh, identify that as mine. Oh. In case someone like you tried to. Uh, I, I was like, I knew there could be a bunch of GoPros floating around. So yeah. It's a simple I don't know if that's technically us breaking the fourth wall, but this is. We spent the next half hour eating our breakfast at the Beacon Cafe at Tango 67 Hicks Airport in Fort Worth, Texas. If you're ever in Fort Worth, you need to find the Beacon Cafe. It's got an outstanding breakfast buffet. The food's great. While we're eating, however, the clouds started to come down and the rain came in. This was a good thing because it would be my first opportunity to fly in a small general aviation aircraft on an IFR flight plan. I've been working on my instrument rating. I've got a little ways to go. And this was very cool to actually experience flying an IMC, even if it was only a 20 minute flight. So we departed Hicks to the south. The clouds were at 3,000 feet. Regional approach cleared Martin to 2,500 feet, but I was pretty excited. Martin uses the metric system, so I knew we were going to end up right inside them. And sure enough, we did.
It was only a brief moment of IMC, but it was still pretty cool to get to experience that. I can't wait to do more further along in my training. Dude, yeah, right here. This is where we go, missed. So if from here we could identify any of the required cues and have the flight visibility that we need, then we can continue the landing. Good job. Bravo, sir. Thank you. Do I just make the check out to Martin Polly? <laughs> and I got my logbook's in the back seat. Oh, you're that just signing my uh, Delta left at Alpha 5, kind of ground off, 123.95. That's so left funny. at Alpha 5 and banana, uh, ground similar bananas colors using a Bravo. Right where we were parked. You're, you're, you're signing my instrument, right? That's correct. Yeah. Wait, who is instructing who on this one? It's a combination. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing the ground instruction, he's doing the air instruction. We can just call that your BFR too. Awesome. Yeah. After we landed, we gathered our stuff up, got out of the plane, and we're heading to the FBO, and that's when it happened. Hey, it's cool. You, I know you want to have me on your channel and everything, but the um, I think the, the Fizdos found me, and I gotta go. Yeah, yeah, go, go. Run, run. The police are after him. That didn't work too well, but Martin had a plan. He told me to pretend I was a suitcase and he would handle the rest. Brian looks so serious like this is his normal mode of transportation. How a serious pilot gets to the FBO. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching and thanks for sticking around to the end. So you have four YouTubers that took the same video and put their own spin on it using the same cameras and some of the same footage. So do yourselves a favor and go check out the other versions of this video. Go check out Brian's channel, Wolfie Corn. Check out Martin Polly's channel and check out Carl's channel, Fly With The Guys and see the different spins. While you're there, click the subscribe button, click the bell. Those guys put a whole lot of work into telling aviation stories and making great aviation content for you and they'd appreciate the subscribers. Anyway, thanks everybody for sticking around. Thanks for watching the video. You guys fly smart.